Yeah, the expectations are high um, with who we're returning. You know, a lot of notable um, players in the conference. Our expectations are high. We were picked second in the conference, so um, so yeah, we set the bar up there. Um, and when it comes to practices, we are just like shooting for that bar with with each practice of um, of. Just again, going after our goals, knowing what we need to do as a team, and making sure that all you know three of our components are um, strong once we start playing in about two weeks. Yeah, our, our our top returners, you know, are the ones who again were were noted in the conference last year. So we have Juliana Presto and Brenna Dolan, both um, from our pitching staff, who were named to the All Conference team last year. Um, and then we also have Megan Sui, uh, third baseman, who was co uh, rookie of the year in the conference last year. So. With them, you know, returning with all their experience and all the innings under their belts um, and their success um, with the addition of, of everyone else around them, again, those expectations are just are pretty high for us. The freshmen are a plenty. There's nine of them, and they bring energy and personality and kind of diversity to our team. So they are really, really coming in again with that energy, pushing people, kind of knowing that they're a freshman and they don't have any expectations. But their attitude and effort um, is either going to help them succeed, or it's most certainly going to help you know the players in front of them or the returners around them succeed. Yeah, um, it's only really my second season in the Freedom, I think, and last year being the COVID year, we didn't even play everyone um, in the Freedom. So I am excited for that um, to become a little bit more normal. I do, you know, obviously everyone wants to be chosen first in the preseason poll, but I do understand and respect um, the, the order. So I do, we are shooting for Misericordia and Stevens, as they know. Um, but the rest of the conference, I really do think anyone can take a game from anyone. And that did happen to us last year. So I think it's exciting to have to level up every game um, and not assuming that you're going to take any, anything from anyone. I schedule, you know, as hard a games as I can find at a conference. I'm always looking for those NJAC teams because uh, they're always ranked high in the region. So if we're able to, you know, really compete with them or take a game from them in our North Carolina trip or our Florida trip, you know, those are things that are going to help us months down the line when it comes to regional ranking. So we we request to play, you know, very successful teams, the top teams. So we're either going to learn a lot from them or we're going to come out with a win and you know help us you know later later in the season